Here in section one, Westminster Academy in lane two, Kings Academy in lane three. Bishop Snyder of Jacksonville in lane four, followed by Trinity Prep in lane five. I mentioned North Florida Christian in lane six, Baker in lane seven, and Calvary Christian is in lane eight. Fast seat in the section, Trinity Prep 821. We know that they've got some uh, really, really fast runners. It's been kind of nice to see them qualify into the section, the second section, and really make a run at it. Well, we'll run them down once they uh, start on the turn. So running a little bit ahead of schedule here. Guys, 4x8, section 1, just about ready to take the track. And we are underway with the boys, 4x8, section 1, lane 2, Westminster Academy, lane 3, Kings Academy. Lane 4 will be Bishop John, lane 5, Trinity Prep, lane 6, Northside Christian, lane 7, Baker, lane 8, Calvary Christian. As the guys make the break on the far side of the track, everybody Jocelyn, try and get out in front as they come up on the 200-meter mark into that first turn. First 200 right around 32 seconds. And as we look at the youth, if you will, of this boys' uh, Section 1 race, um, over half of the contestants are not seniors. So a lot of these guys will probably be competing here again next year. We are really starting to see a resurgence, especially in the middle distances for a lot of these runners. If you take a look and you draw a line, it just keeps getting better and better every year. Depth-wise, you know, we may not have the superstars that we've had in the past, but the depth across the board in a lot of these distance races is really starting to take a notch up. And it has to do with leadership and motivation, training. Guys are running year-round, and they're getting into good programs. Right now, Trinity Prep with a pretty sizable lead. Yeah, 30 meters back. This is kind of surprising that he's out that far. Coming through right around uh, two-minute flat pace, right around 129, 130 at the 200. Looks We're going like to start to see some movement here, the second 200. Looks like Baker is second, but North Florida Christian making a move now to the outside. So 100 meters to go. Trinity Prep continues to lead. He's got 80 meters to go. Trinity Prep will take the lead going into leg two of the boys, four by eight. And that is a fairly decent leadoff leg for Trinity Prep right around 2 201. Alfred Fernand out in front, just a freshman for Trinity Prep. But he's going to have some guys barreling down on him here pretty soon. It's only 10 meters back to 2, 3, and 4. And they've got the freshmen squarely in their sights from uh, Trinity Prep. Also a pretty good pace for North Florida Christian, which is second right now. Blair Strickland, a senior. The fastest time in the state for 1A, Northside Christian. At uh, 8.01. Starting to tighten it up a little bit here. Only about a step and a half as Trinity Prep continues to lead 304. And that's Kings Academy third now. We saw an awesome 4x8 last night at the 4A Region 1 meet. Lake Brantley throwing down a 749. Just about five seconds shy of the fastest time in the country by Centennial out of Nevada. They've gone 744. So just like uh, the girls in the 4x8, the guys in this first section need to run as fast as they can, try and get a spot up on the podium. And a new leader now. With How about North Florida Christian? North Florida Christian. Into the lead, Trinity Prep back in the second. North Florida Christian with a time of 8.24 at regional.
So they will take it right around 406. So we'll call it 8-12 uh, pace. That would be a 12 second improvement from their regional run. And it's Luke Strickland, sophomore, out in front now. Well, we had a chance to see his brother run for many, many years. And as I look down on the track, I, it's almost like looking at Whitney out on the track. He's got the same kind of form, the same kind of haircut. And uh, Whitney, one of the great runners out of North Florida Christian uh, from a couple years back when my son used to run against him and one of the greatest guys you'll ever meet. So Luke Strickland. North Florida Christian looking pretty good right now out of Section 1. Trinity Prep in second. That's Grant Gordon, the junior, behind him. So right around five flat with uh, 400 to go for North Florida Christian. Trinity Prep in second. Yeah, and that lead is 50 meters. I wouldn't have thought that North Florida Christian would have a lead of that size over Trinity Prep at this point in the race. North Florida Christian really stepping it up. It'll be interesting to see what they can do on the anchor leg. Schedule compete for Trinity Prep on the anchor. Should be Corey Burns, a uh, junior at Trinity Prep. Meanwhile, Chris Rolfe, a senior for North Florida Christian. So this will be a good leg for Luke Strickland on a North Florida Christian. He will give his team the lead going into the last leg here with about 20 to 25 meters, right yeah. around 6.07. Nice job by the sophomore. North Florida Christian, Trinity Prep, and that's Kings Academy. And Kings Academy in the red. Dropping back right in about third or fourth. So can Trinity Prep, can they make up that distance? It's right around 40 meters right now. He's got a little under 650 meters to do it. And he's got a pretty good pace. Whereas Corey Burns seems to have more of a sprint, he's got a, seems to have more of a pace to him. And plenty of running. You know, you take a look at the leg turnovers. They come off the turn here, and you can start to see the distance is going to close. Trinity Prep is going to close this gap here. He's got uh, 450 meters to do it. You can kind of just tell that the momentum is in his favor. Yeah. Well, 7.10 and 7.13. So a three-second difference right now with Kings Academy back in third. He will take the lead, the runner out of Trinity Prep, with 300 meters to go down the backstretch. Now you realize, Mike, that you've got the win. You know, he knows there's nobody else behind him. It's how fast can you go at this point. Right. But this is a really good run for North Florida Christian in second. Kings Academy looking pretty good right now in third. It's 20 meters back to number four. So Trinity Prep will win Section 1. And they will best their time that they had at Regionals. Right around 8.15, North Florida Christian 8.20, and Kings Academy right around 8.24. So Trinity Prep making up the distance in the anchor leg and coming back to get the win in Section 1. And that is a fairly solid time, I think, going into Section 2. Trinity Prep guys will be looking on, along with the North Florida Christian guys, to see if they can get a spot on the podium, pick up some important points. Trinity Prep will probably be in the running for the state title, along with a couple of other schools here in 1A for the boys.